This is Andy Perrault for ID Boxing. I'm joined by a tired former WO World Cruiserweight Champion, Johnny Nelson. I almost got out, man. I almost escaped. I thought, damn it. But, but listen, we're here. We're here. Let's do it. Let's do it, Andy. Let's get into it, indeed, then. Current WBO World Cruiserweight Champion Lawrence Okoli returns on Saturday night. First fight back under the Sky Sports platform uh, versus David Light. Just walk me through what you expect from this fight, Johnny. Lawrence Okoli's first professional fight was on the 25th of March 2017, six years ago to the day. Uh, now he's making a fourth defence of his WBO title against David Light. I expect him to beat David Light inside the distance. Uh, I think he's tall enough, he's powerful enough. Uh, frustrating enough because he's been out of the ring with legal battles and arguments all this time. So I believe that um, uh, this is this is this is uh, this is a job that he'll get done and get done well. Uh, I think uh, I think David Light is 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 good in his lane, but I think you look at him, you look at his style. He holds his hands a little too low, stands in range. You don't stand in range with somebody that long as I call it that. That is not the finished article, but he's still the, the, the where he's at. He makes him a world champion, and he's getting better and better, especially along the side along the along the side of uh, Sugar Hill. So therefore, um, I think. Everything's set up for him to get the win. You look at the landscape, you've got Opatayo, you've got Badu Jack. Uh, you've got, yeah, exactly. So, so, so therefore, and you've got, you've got Richard Riappour, you've got yeah, Chris Bill and Smith in touching distance to fight for world title. This could be the hotbed for cruiserweights. The, the possibility of getting a unification is actually closer than what you think. But then, but then Lawrence was talking about stepping up to heavyweight. And, 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 and again, he sparred with a lot of the heavyweights. And don't be surprised if, because of the fallout of Tyson and through of Alexander Usyk, down the line, Richard Rappaport might find himself in the number one heavyweight position if he decides, uh, at cruiserweight, for the WBO, uh, as a WBO champion, uh, if he decides to step up to heavyweight, because he's talking about it already. Um, I thought he'd hang about and try and break my record of defences. Um, uh, but cause if anybody's going to, I prefer Brit to do it. Uh, but he's going to go where the dough is, he's going to go where the glory is, and, and he just gets to get the job done. So you must be pushing Lawrence to move up sooner rather than later then? Of course, of course I am, of course. <laughs> um, just kind of sticking with that domestic scene, you mentioned the likes of Richard Rappaport, CBS. CBS have him a May 27th date officially confirmed for Bournemouth. What would you rather see though in terms of looking at him? Would you rather see them face each other? Would you rather see them go in for world title fights or a unification in Lawrence's favour? Well, if a unification is on the line and, and, and Chris Bill and Smith wins a world title, it's got to happen, uh, like it or not. And these guys are friends, but this is business. Uh, but you've got to cross that bridge when you come to it. Um, they may decide we'll never fight each other. Or Chris might always think, Lawrence has always got my number, or vice versa. Lawrence might think Chris knows things that nobody else knows. So, um, so that that's an awkward situation to be in. Uh, but potentially there are fights that are there that that, that can be made. Um, Chris Miller's Bill and Smith he lost to Richard Riappo. Um, uh, it's a fight that could happen all over again if again they both both get a version of a world title. Uh, but it's a great position to be in. Obviously, Johnny, we've seen um, Lawrence team up with Sky. We've also seen Joshua Bawati team up with Sky. And in the fallout of that, there's also been a lot of back and forth between the pair of them and Mr. Eddie Hearn. I just want to get your thoughts on everything that's been said between all three parties. Uh, I think fighters now are, are probably waking up and wanting to run their own business. They're, and and, and I've made a bit of a, a ripple in regards to looking at these YouTubers. These kids can't fight, but they're getting paid world-class money and getting world-class attention and getting world-class numbers. Now you've got talented fighters like Richard Rappaport, uh, like um, uh, Joshua Boatsy and Lawrence Acoli, and, and and Richard and, for, and so forth, and they, they they now understand they need to control their business. They need to do what they need to do what's important for them and not for the promoter or the TV network. So therefore, and, and so the fallout with them and, and Eddie, I understand Eddie's point of view. Eddie's Eddie's trying to promote his platform and he needs fighters to fight on it to promote his platform but the fighters that are fighting on it they all need, also need to promote themselves and do what's best for them so it's, it's six and one half a dozen of the other they've got to do what's best for them so therefore I understand both sides of the argument and these guys are making a bold move and they will set a trend for fighters to think well if he's done it so look at Dan Aziz Dan Aziz has come from, through won the British Commonwealth and European title Richard uh, um, Joshua Boatze has looked and thought, hold on a minute, I'm like number one in the world. And everybody's talking about Dan Aziz. 
me and my friends. This guy's come through, so all of a sudden he's thinking, why is nobody talking about me? Why am I not on the, on the, the, on the other end of everybody's lips? Why is nobody, you know? And, and so now he's thinking, I've got to smarten this up. So he's made a decision to do what's best for his business. Lawrence O'Call has made a decision, being out of the ring, to do what's best for his business. So I understand where they're both coming from. And is that just the power of the Sky platform? Without a doubt. Without a doubt. So it doesn't matter. There's been various boxing channels that have been around, but they've not really blown up. Now and again, they might have a good fight on and you might find it, but in reality, Sky have put the graft in to have the numbers and they understand the platform. They understand what they've got to do is there's cross, cross advertising. When the football's on, they'll advertise the boxing. When the tennis is on, they'll advertise the boxing. So they're going to get casual fans as well as hardcore fans. Other channels can't do that. They, they, don't, they don't do that unless they're going to pay through the nose and advertise and spend most of the money they'll earn from the night on advertising. I don't think they'll do that. Uh, Johnny, just away from Eddie and uh, Joshua Boatti and uh, Mr Lawrence Coley, Fury Usyk, we won't be getting it next. A lot of heartbreak over that as well. Everybody would love to have seen it. I was going to get your thoughts on everything that's happened in the last couple of days. Greed. Uh, down to greed. Um, first of all, I've said it to everybody else, I thought... Long, um, um, Tyson Fury beat Alexander Usyk. Uh, Tyson Fury managed to talk himself into a 70-30 split. Good on him. I love it when fighters make enough money, make as much money as possible. He, he negotiated things that suited him, that fitted his, that suited his agenda. Perfect. I loved seeing that. But Alexander Usyk said, you know what, you are not the end of my rainbow. I bent over backwards to give you what you want to get this fight on. Now you've asked for too much, I'm gone. So, so the only person's, only, only feet you can throw that on is Tyson Fury's feet. So Tyson's saying, where are you going to you going to get paid this kind of money if not fighting me? The same question can be asked of Tyson Fury, uh, because Tyson Fury's beat all that's out there, apart from Anthony Joshua. The chance of that happening soon, I don't think is 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 the reality. Anthony Joshua's got to get his own. Own, own, own situation back in order. Uh, all his Anusik, on the other hand, he's got Andy Ruiz, he's got um, uh, Wilder. You know, the fights there that can be made, he's got Dylan White. You know, there's fights there that'll put bums on seat. A Ukrainian, you know, has, has all of a sudden got a massive fan base here in the UK where fighters, people go and watch him box. So Tyson Fury is probably lost his way in regards to his value. He knows he's top dog, but he thinks there's no roles, all, all roads lead to him. And Alexander Usyk has basically said, no, they don't, mate. I'm going to make my own path. Do you feel like it's Tyson when he's come out looking worse than the two of them? Yes, without a doubt. How many times has, has Tyson been involved in this kind of hullabaloo? It was, it was, it was Anthony Joshua last time. You know, it's his fault why it's not happened. There's a pattern occurring. Some people have suggested over social media that maybe it's Tyson's looked at this fight and thought it's a much more difficult fight than what maybe people thought before. And do you think that's maybe played on Tyson's no, mind? And as I said, I actually believe Tyson Fury beat him, but clearly by the sounds of it, by the looks of it, Tyson doesn't. So Tyson, you're right, I agree with you. Tyson's thinking, God, this might be a bit harder than I think. You know, I'm hearing rumours he's ill or he's injured. If you say that, but don't. Don't do it the way it's happening because, because unfortunately it looks bad on him. Does he give a shit? I don't think he does. But that's just how it is. All right, Johnny, I told you it would be short and sweet and we will leave up there shortly. Wait, Joshua Franklin first, next weekend. What happens in AJ's comeback after the two defeats to Alexander? I'm curious to see how, how, uh, how, how fragile or how strong it's made Joshua. I expect Joshua to get the win, but I will not be surprised by being surprised. Stoppage? Yeah, I expect one. Now you can celebrate, Johnny. <laughs> Thank you for your time. Yes! Yeah.